What's up guys, Son of Beast here. We're back for another part of a video. And before BFB 30 starts on April 9th of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this spring break anyway. anyway. We're definitely getting close right now. <laughs> I have to get back to school. I'm sorry guys, but I got a lot of work going on that I have to try to finish. But don't bind me if I do one. Because I need to make sure I have everything turned in without marking my grade off the target. If they mark me late, then I'm definitely in trouble. <laughs> that is just too much to go with. In anyways, let's get into the elimination of these characters that we are just going to look for and find out what we have. Let's take a look. All right, let's get started off with episode number two. Now, let's get to the case. First up we have is Pencil. Now, I'm going to tell you that Pencil was definitely on its elimination for the first part of it that we are just looking. And the shocking news that Pencil is gone. Well, here's a good fact. Pencil was in the show, and he's doing really well. Now... They got something going on that the that the uh, legendary uh, characters are losing it. Some are not picking up the pace really well. But sometimes they are doing awesome right from the start and coming in to get back on track. Well, here's why I just really couldn't figure out that Pencil was gone. Well, it's because she's doing very well. And she did. She played a great part right into the BFDI of season one, and then the BFDI A season two, before the IDFB in season three. Yeah, that's what I was just realizing that pencil's doing a great job. But then the elimination starts on episode number two, and here's what I just realized that what happened to pencil. He's the first. One to be eliminated in a BFDI season four. No, not kidding. What a shocking moment that I felt this wasn't going to happen. And that point, they lost it. How could that be? Well, no choice. So Pencil was gone, and most importantly, one of each teams of a legendary characters just couldn't help it. Well, most importantly, they do. But I don't know if they could ha hold on to that point. I don't know what to do. But anyhow, this is all I mentioned it about Pencil. Thinking about writing it on the paper. And also just uh, writing things in school. Or... Writing on things on the some uh, college supplies and a uh, uh, college application, um, writing a job essay with a pen or something like that. Well, just copying down also makes it here writing down a sentence, and that is more efficient way. What I think about pencil. Well, we're not sure what's going to happen to uh, pencil if he's ever going to show up in uh, next couple seasons later, but it might be a. Uh, determination what will happen anyway that's going to be it for episode two of pencil let's move on and see what we have next up the elimination in episode three is leafy how could i just remember that leafy was the first one that was eliminated how did i forget this happened well i watched it but i did not react so, don't comply. I know I don't react to BFB um, episodes, but 28 is very important because we're getting close to the end of the line, me against Hangout Yoshi Guy. This is the only one that I just keep an eye on. Nothing else to say about that. And just getting a little bit off the target here, which isn't too much bad at all. Yeah, it's just enough to get there. 
And then Fiery was thinking, you know, a little upsetting he, he was going on. I don't know what he was just going to say. And Leafy was out there just soon enough. And then what do I have to tell? Tell me more. In fact, I got nothing else to say about Leafy. Just surprised me at that point. So that should be out for uh, Leafy to get things in. But it will be determined later in the next couple episodes that I will take a look at. So don't mind me. I have nothing else to respond for. So that's it for episode three. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so here's the episode number four, Elimination. The next one out was Bracelety. So uh, Bracelety, Bracelety, how do you pronounce it? Well, let me show you how to pronounce that. It's Bracelety. Bracelety. I'm thinking I might be right. Bracelety. Brace D. I'm just saying, uh, it's it's a silent T. If it's right. But I'm just trying to get that one right. And that point, I'm thinking Bracelet was a like a he's acting like a cheerleader. <laughs> I I have no idea why he sounded like that, saying, Go Ice Cube! Go Ice Cube! Yeah, she's like, yeah, he's acting like a cheerleader. He wants to be part of a cheerleader squad who likes to give a good autograph to those uh, designers from Team Ice Cube. I don't know. There's nothing else to go for. Maybe less possible ever happens. And that, my friend, is how this happens to you. More than efficient way that ever gets the spot done. My only resistant fact is what I have. Kind of not doing a better job at that point. We have to keep it going. And yeah, we got to get this thing done. Bracelet E, I have nothing yet to answer that. But the, but the funny thing is, like, um, that he puts a bris, bracelet E on fire. Four's mouth, and then silently screams like that on X. How does that really respond my answer? Don't know. The choice might be the only way that never gets things done. And then after a bracelet, he goes to a down for most votes of elimination, and they, the four just made an open, gigantic mouth. Ew, jeez, this is kind of like creepy, I, I thought. Yeah, I don't think this wasn't going to happen. And then Bracelet -y was gone and inside four, and he swallowed it. <laughs> Yuck. I don't think I wouldn't take that resistant. Just going out over and over and over again. I'll just say. Now, that should be the it for, um, that should be it for uh, episode four elimination of the contestant. Let's get right into episode five. Now, the next one out that was eliminated, part of the um, fortunate Ben. There is something else that after the last one that comes out of sight. And this one is the uh, weirdest part of a look on the abbreviation. And it's, and it's L-I-Y, light switch. Now, I don't have a reference on light switch at that point, but in that case, it's just not enough to go from outlining the line from real to the contestant character. And that's it. that totally reminds me that looks that looks like a light switch and a panel light switch is right in the middle. You turn it on and you turn it off, and that is the comparison that I have it on the wall. As I mentioned it before, uh, L-I-Y, uh, why is she, like, disappointed? Why does she doesn't have the truth to say anything about what she has currently done? If I have nothing else to say about that, I got no other choice what she's going to do. Well, this isn't anything what we are looking for. There is no decision on that 
run about L I Y Lil. Why why do I have to how do I supposed to pronounce that? I'm pronouncing things incorrectly. I have no idea what to say. L I Y. Uh uh yeah, I I really don't care about that. That's too much to go through to process. My better fact at that point should be light switch. I'm thinking that should be the only one here, but it didn't turn out right. So uh, she really didn't care about that. What? What's the deal with that? I just don't really know what she's going to do. All right, no comments for anything else, but that's just enough to get from here. Now let's get to episode six. Now, before the elimination comes up here, all contestants of Team Golf Ball with other uh, competitors, um, they just knocked out four. Why did they do that? Well, they did some uh, math. Uh, uh, they did some math uh, education going on with them numbers. They did four times zero equals zero. Oh man, what do I ever expect that this was going to happen? Seriously, nobody was ever asking me about who done it. Now, in in this zero, that's um that could be the only part. But the problem is, it's not zero. It was donut right inside from the middle, and then come out like it never happened. All right, here's a comparison of zero and and donut. They're both pretty the same, but donut, yeah, I think he's a little bit more bigger than uh, zero. So, I don't think uh, Zero wins at all. So, this is what I always felt. Donut was the only one that I have at all. And then after that, Four disappeared. And then the TV monitor calculates who's eliminated through. Either David or Barbati. And you know who got eliminated next? And episode number six? Let me tell you. It was Robotti. Robotti was eliminated at that point from Team Beep. <sighs> wow. Huge disappointment that turned out everything else like it never did. All I mentioned is that Robotti didn't go inside four, but when four did not show up, they're all saying, Where's Robotti? And where did he go? And you found a new spot right from here. Make its new location like it never just happened here. Alright, I have no I have no questions on the Robotti. And yeah, no comments on that one here. Now let's check out to find out what the next one is. Let's get into number seven. And the next one for the elimination that was turning out to be a huge disappointment. I'm saying that. Someone is getting nervous. And you know who? Well, this is what I bet. Loser. Loser was just enough to go from there. All the people, including this guy as well. And all the competitors on the sideline that just got shocked. The team captain of Team The Losers is gone they all gasp out like he was out and eliminated very disappointed I have nothing to say about that everyone's favorite is the only one that they really love loser to be in the show they got nothing else to hear about what happened with the elimination very, very bad. And I cannot believe it. Well, this always turns out like I got nothing else to think about what happened here. Well, you got nerds here. So that is it for uh, episode 7 of Loser Being Eliminated, which is a shocking part. Now let's get to into number 8. 
The next elimination was eight ball. Kind of like the same thing, like this episode that much. Episode number eight. Wow. Now, I really wasn't expecting to see eight ball. I don't, I didn't pay attention on him. And I haven't seen him what he was doing and that point. Um, there's nothing to say about it. Um, I got, I have no speeches on eight ball, but that kind of same things to me like a pool game that I just played. But I have, yeah, I got nothing else to hear about the eight ball, so I don't know anything about him. So uh, always like asking in the dark, um, dark voice, like the answer to the question that I was giving out to where people were respecting. And most importantly, never gets us too much better. Maybe I might be doing it. It may not be a lie. Yeah, I, I get this one point. But I have nothing to hear about 8-Ball. That's the only uh, voice that I hear. But no, I don't understand what he was going to try to say. So that's it. Okay, let's get into episode number nine. And the next elimination person is Stay P. Stay P, will you play Eat the Dirt with me? And Stay P said, yeah. Wait, did you say Eat the Dirt? Uh, you know what, Marker? I think I'll pass on this one. When all of a sudden knows he's flipping like that. It's like, what? I felt like that just never happened. I don't think this wasn't going to be enough. Like, I'm just really concerning about, about what Stapey done. And he flips him over upside down like it's a backward 80 roll. Very weird. Most importantly, I got nothing to go from here. Well, Stapey just keeps realizing about what he knows everybody. And, uh, of course, you guys always remember that Stapey wants to come back and wants to rematch again. Well, this didn't turn out like to be exact. I guess to say that it was just enough to go from there. Mm. All right. Well, there's there's the answer that Stapey was gone, and now it turned out to be, like, blacked out. Too much to say here, but that is just the way it goes. Now, let's get into episode 10. And the next person that was eliminated at that point is David. Like this voice. You know, I tell you what, that David was just trying to say all and over and over again with a seriously part. It's just goes on and on. I don't know what to do with David. I I don't know what to do about him. I don't remember who's going to be. I don't remember who's going to uh, remember David at that point. Um... Did somebody create this and David? Or does somebody know that David from the BFDI wants to create himself and or make a make a name? Like I never called it. I don't really know. I just can't. I just can't remember. It's very, very hard. So David is nothing else to hear. And I just realized. It's just not enough. So that um, that turned out to be uh, episode 10. And then now episode 11, the rejoining time to get back into the competition of the BFDI. Well, this is where everyone was thinking about in episode 11. Rejoining back where they belong. And the most important thing that I was just saying, that the bad part that I know that that only a couple were gone. I know that Leafy was out on episode three, but now here's what I felt. Because Leafy just joined back in the game. Now that made me happy right now. 
And yes, I'm I'm totally way happy that I fought. Yeah, I'm so I'm so uh I'm jumping up for joy. I really know everything about what I was going for. Just enough to get right into the segment that I remembered. Well, good thing always happens to me. Now that is the only section that I get to know. And then he cried with tears and tears and tears coming out, coming out, coming out. And this paper embraces he said, can you give this to... And then then he's using it. <laughs> yeah, he's using the paper. Wow. Wow, why would you ever have to do this anyway? There's no tissue? Well, that is... That is a shock. Earn the cake? I... Just like that. Way to go. Now that is the end of episode 11. Now we go to episode 12. The next one of elimination that turned out to be just unbearable was the only person that never got there a chance before. And you know, the friend from Bubble really never stand out and being so lonely. So the next one out eliminated was Match. Wow, very shocking. And episode 13, which ever turned out to just one, was Fiery Jr. No, Fiery was not eliminated, so we're, we won't talk about that anyway when we get close to BFBs. We'll, we'll do that in a separate video. Bef um, while I'm still doing a reaction video of the BFB season finale. That'll be next time. But I would insistently guess that Match was just lighting things up. And just I mentioned it before, she's kind of good, but that, but really infectantly not doing too much at the same time. I'm kind of like out of my mind already. It's There isn't anything else to go for. Yeah, this is just, this is just completely a waste. I know nothing is ever... Nobody should ever be using this before. Who wants to do this again? Who wants to do this again? I got nothing to say about what Match will ever do. Kind of play with Spongy a bit back in the episode 5 and they were just discussing it over with Pencil. Yeah, that's more... That's more efficient... Efficiently, I was just thinking. So that is the only way I get to met, know what match was about. And Fiery Jr., who... I have never seen Fiery Jr. going that small. Whenever I'm trying to compare it to, uh, to Fiery Jr. and Ice Cube, the tiny guy that just melted and then melted into the tiny Ice Cube particle. Very kind of convenient. I know that. And just like what everyone was thinking about, now you know that Fiery Jr. Ever since I just get the idea. And now that turned out that Fiery Jr. was never here anymore. Wow. I, I don't know about Fiery Jr. anyway, but that's, uh, that's Shunks already. Stunk me out like it never did. So that is just that. Now, um, we only got another one for you. Um, so Fiery Jr. was enough to go from the uh, top competitor point, but uh, he was also with Fiery as well. Are they both from the uh, brother and the father? Well, the little boy and his son, I got nothing else to go for. So... I have no questions, but I'm not going to ask um, Jack and Jellyfee if uh, Fiery Jr. is a boy or a girl and live off with his father. So, I won't guess it. Now, let's get into the next one. We're almost just about a couple episodes away from, uh, from the beginning of episode 2. Episode 15, we get to the last two competitions, competitors. On the bottom, on the line. And the next one out, elimination, with the most votes, goes to Dora. Like, 
which hairstyle do I like? I don't know. What, which Dora has it all the way? No, uh, almost kind of the same. Yeah, that would be that would be totally the same. But I, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, I have no, I have no comments on that. I was watching Dora the Explorer that, on Nickelodeon at that point, and let me tell you this, I have to get out of here. You know, I. It's not. It's not really complicated. I'm very kind of. I'm really kind of stuffing my nerds up a bit. And when I was just doing my best at that point, nothing won't help me. I'm very, I'm telling you, nothing will ever help me again. In fact, I have it all when I'm down to one of the best contestants. You, you understand that, what I was just saying, right? If not, then you got no plan. What about Dora the Explorer? Part of the uh, cartoon for this episode's on Nickelodeon, on Nick Jr. Mostly kids will ever learn about what to expect. Don't tell me about the error. Don't tell me about that. Don't like to hear that at that point. So, and then after that, Dora was just singing. And then Ford just say, don't care. And now just sucks it up. Dora inside four, And now you know. What do I believe when that comes out like it never did? Wow. Well, more than that. Now let's see what we got on the last one. And here's the last one for the BFDI episode 16 where it's ended from the part of, of part A right from there. Right now. At that moment. And we are looking for it is Spongy. Well, in fact, he's too big to fit inside for. And it never worked. Too much to too much to uh, send him right underneath four. And only Loser was outside. And then four was getting so mad and on the next level. But she can't. She can't even do it. it she doesn't. Because it's too big to fit uh spongy inside enter and exit and then once fiery jr was out there but he but he granted us permission to give it all he had gotten moment away and it just happened like momentarily and uh, when when he was thinking at x wants to give for a uh, a juice the drink of a bottle and then try to get energy I don't really try my best. I'm just serious, but this is what everyone was thinking. Then Fiery Jr. burned up on uh, on Spongy, and now this is what just happened. Look. See? The mark on the left that you see here, this is where it got burned by Fiery Jr. and was out of Force tube inside i get the i get that okay i get that all right so big no arms only legs and then the face that's just it and now i feel like everything else turned out to be the end of the bfdi part of two one through 16 and before two everts jumps in the studio part of the uh, BFDI and this part of a landmark of a location. Kind of very stumped, isn't it? I don't know. Well, now you get that point that one of each contestants are eliminated in 1 through 16. And restating the prize is not the only idea to get to know that, um, Fanny. I have nothing to say about what we got here. So, that will be end of part A of the uh, characters being eliminated in 1, I mean, 2 through 16 um, to be continued on the next part. Um, when BFB30 comes out, later event. Thanks for joining us. Peace out, bitches, for us a while as the elimination characters of BFDI dial. Goodbye, folks.
You've probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you've probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms as gold in my rankings. While y'all fake as haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.